The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a mix that I made a couple years ago. It's called Mishmash. And I'm going to use just like a thin layer of that. And we're going to build a tip out to extra large right there. It's just going to be like a very, very thin uh, tip that we have to build out. I'm going to be adding some other things um, on the nail as well, so that's why we want it to be kind of on a thin side uh, so that we can add those things and not have the nail uh, be be real thick. Just, and you could also make a very thin uh, tip with just clear if you wanted to but I just prefer to do this because it gives me, the background is already gonna give me some nice glittery uh, look. So I think that's pretty good. And you can take your, um, your form and make sure that you have it nice and um, squeezed narrow. You hear that thud? It's not dry. You know, it'll get warm and it'll cure and it'll get hard, but this is gonna be so thin that you, once you encapsulate it and stuff, you'll be you'll still be able to pinch it. I'll show you that when we get to that point. Not quite dry, but you can take your finger and you can carefully just pinch it a little bit. Okay, not too much. That way it'll give you a good shape to start with. The next step here is to apply some of these cute little nail decorations onto that nail. I've also got some cute little stickers that are look like real flowers. We're gonna attach one of these pretty purple flowers here. It's a sticker. So it's really easy to just stick right on there. I like to put like some cr acrylic on top of that because it, it kind of helps to melt that Fimo down. And these are some really cute little spangles I got from Sarah King from Australia and I wanted to put a few of those in there because I think they look so pretty. There we go. That's pretty. I love how those things shine. And basically that's all we're doing here is we're just adding little spangles and little things that we that I want to add. I even have some little dried um, flowers that I'm gonna put on there and if it's hanging over it's okay. Leave it at that and I'm gonna let it get hard and remove the form. These are actually gel nail beds. And when you are using the gel nail bed, I've already had them on, so it's like, you know, why take them off and make them acrylic, you know? You don't have to, but make sure that you take off the shine, okay? And that just helps so that the acrylic can attach itself better to the gel, to the gel nail. So now we're just gonna encapsulate. wet bead of acrylic and just brush it forward and encapsulate the tip first. I'll be back to pinch it. We're gonna pinch the nail again. And as you can see, it's it's all matte and it's dry and it's getting warm. We need to be careful. We've already pinched this a couple times before, which is okay. There, it's looking much thinner, you see? And then you can stop when you get it where you want it. And the heat leaves it that's you know you can't pinch it anymore once it's cured and the heat leaves and i'll file it just got done buffing out the nail with a white uh, polar block some oil 
on the nail and I'm going to buff it with the yellow fine buffing block. I just wanted to show you the clarity in these nails and they have not even been top coated yet. I just washed them after I buffed them with the oil 